Hello, and welcome to another episode of Who's Who at Winning Alert. I'm your host, Omar Brown, and my guest today is Jessica Hollister. Jessica is an assistant librarian for UB Archives. Jessica, thank you for joining us today. Thanks, Omar. Can you tell us a little bit more about yourself and the work that you do with for the UB Archives? I'm born and raised in Buffalo. I went to the Library Information Science Program here at the University at Buffalo. And uh, currently in the UB Archives, I process archival collections, mostly physical materials. I help out with teaching people how to use archival materials and assist with special projects, exhibitions, presentations that the archive engage in. And uh, mostly I work with reference, both remote and in person. Okay. And so, um, for example, over the past year, moving to a remote environment, we've had to help users research by actually physically going into the collections and communicating back and forth with the research what kind of materials they need, whether it be documents or photographs, and then helping connect those users remotely to those documents and photographs. You mentioned something about exhibitions. Mm -hmm. um, were there any projects that you had to work on with exhibitions during this pandemic? Not during the pandemic, but hopefully um, the amount of exhibitions will pick up as we're moving back to an in-person environment. One of the projects I worked on previously was the history of homecoming here at UB, and we pulled um, we pulled artifacts and photographs from the history of homecoming and gave a presentation during homecoming week here um, uh, here at UB. Oh. Homecoming is very popular amongst colleges, even high schools. Mm -hmm. Can you talk uh, more about that project with the homecoming for UB? Yes, absolutely. I think you'll find that in UB's history, there was a time where homecoming was a lot like high school. It was a, um, a, a very nostalgic experience. So uh, yeah. closer to the 40s, 50s, and 60s, it was very popular amongst the students. There was right. the homecoming queen, the, you know, the star football player. It was very reminiscent of a high school experience. And right. I think you'll see throughout history and the artifacts we have here that that type of experience is, um, it changes through the decades. So we no longer see that romantic, nostalgic view of homecoming like they did mid 20th century. Right, 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 right. Um, what attracted you to becoming a librarian? Oh, that's a great question, Omar. Um, I would say I have family members who are librarians, so I knew a little bit about the field from them. And right. then also I knew personally that I wanted to be in some kind of position where I was working with the public, some kind of public service work. And um, the other side of that, I have personal interest in history and historical documents. And so somehow those three things came together and librarianship came out of it. Oh, that's excellent. Very powerful, very powerful. Can you tell us something that your colleagues would be shocked to know about you? Oh, yes, Omar. I think my colleagues may be shocked to know that I lived and taught English in Japan for a year. Wow, how was that experience? Oh, it was, it was amazing, Omar. I would say it was, um, not only was it a fun experience, but it was an incredible learning experience. I um, improved okay. my communication skills and my interpersonal skills. And I think, um, I personally think that those have helped me in my librarian career. And maybe if other librarians have the chance to do some kind of travel to other countries, I think it can only help their communication, interpersonal skills, and maybe uh, bring a whole new appreciation to their field. Oh, that's excellent. Well, maybe you should probably do a webinar on how it helped you by going to different places to teach or probably even learn about certain cultures that will help other librarians with their interpersonal skills and, and their communi skill, communication skills as well. Yes, oh. absolutely. Only if you'll help me, Omar. We'll do. We'll do. No <laughs> problem. Well, thank you, Jessica. And this concludes our interview with Jessica Hollister. Who's who at Winnie Lurk? I'm your host, Omar Brown. Have a good day. Members of Winnie Lurk are able to utilize a number of programs and services, including archival and digital services, Ask Us 24-7 Chat Reference, Ask the Lawyer, Empire Library Delivery, Hospital Library Services, InfoPass, 
and the professional development, please visit www.wnylrc.org to learn more.